<laughs> this is going to be the heart exam flow today. So first, a uh, patient is going to be laying face up and I'm going to be inspecting their fingernails and hand. Okay. Yep, just looking for any clubbing or any nicotinic staining. Next, we inspect in their lips, noting any change of color or anything for that matter. Next, I will be observing their jugular vein pressure. So I will be in that, can I have on, oh, I need tangential lighting. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna use my phone for tangential lighting here, looking for the pulse of the jugular vein. And next, I'm going to measure the jugular vein pressure by using a ruler and a tongue depressor. So can I have you look to the left, please? There we go. And I'm going to place the ruler at the sternal, at the sternum. And I'm going to place my tongue depressor at the top margin of the jugular pulse where I see it and create a right angle with the ruler. And I believe normal should be under three centimeters. So you're at about one, four, yeah, about, about like a, a centimeter, uh, one and a half centimeters. There we go. Next, what is next? I'm going to be observing using tangential lighting again. Patient would have a gown on that is open. I'm using, looking and inspecting at the precordium area, looking for any asymmetries, heaves or thrills. And then next I will be looking at the mitral valve area or the point of maximum impulse and looking for any um, pulsations there. Next, I'm going to be palpating and for any heaves or thrills using my knife edge contact on the sternum. And next I will be palpating the mitral valve area using my fingertips. It's going to be at the fifth intercostal space at the midclavicular line. So I'm going to be here feeling for that mitral valve impulse and there it is, excellent. Now I will be palpating for any, again, any thrills with my fingertips. I'm going to be at the, on the right side of the patient at the second intercostal space, feeling for the aortic valve. Next, I'll be at the pulmonary, pulmonary valve here. Next, it's going to be herbs point, tricuspid valve and then back to the mitral valve. Excellent. Now I'm going to be listening. I'm using those same areas using my stethoscope. First, I'll be using the diaphragm side. I'm going to have the patient just breathe normally. You know, the aortic. Next, I'm going to be at the pulmonary. Next is going to be herbs point, tricuspid, and then mitral. And then I will flip it around using the bell side. I'll be going in reverse, starting at the mitral. And then tricuspid. And then herbs. And then pulmonary. And lastly, aortic. Next, I will have the patient. I'll be using the diaphragm side, listening for any normal sounds for the mitral valve. So can I take a deep breath in? Um, no, actually, no, it's at the pulmonary. <laughs> can I take a deep breath in through your mouth? And then relax. Excellent. And now I'm going to have the patient um, exhale fully at the mitral, while listening to the mitral valve and hold it. Excellent, now could we get in the cubitus position please? And then same thing, exhale fully. Excellent, and relax. And now we're gonna sit up and we're going to listen for any aortic regurgitation. Could I have you flex forward? I'll be on the mitral valve area here. And then relax. And then we're going to go back down on our back. And I'm going to have him 
perform a Valsalva maneuver. And we're going to and exhale fully and hold and then bear down. Listening for mitral valve prolapse. And relax. Good job. Alright, and that is the flow. It's great flow.